Gosh, I get a whole week, get which our dad week. always teases me about. It's, but yeah, it's my birthday week, and so for this Thirsty Thursday, we're drinking Gimlets, which is my absolute favorite. Uh, since my birthday falls in August, it's like the perfect summer cocktail. But we made it skinny for today because we love skinny cocktails, and we wanted, if we're going to be having more than one of these, we wanted them to be slightly, you know, a little, little bit more healthier. than one. Yeah. So the way we did that was I made my own lime syrup for the cocktails, so which was so fun. Good. Yeah, or I should back up and first tell you, like, the traditional recipe for a gimlet is so easy. It's two ounces of gin or vodka. We use vodka. It is an ounce of Rose's lime juice or just any, like, sweetened lime syrup. And then ice and you garnish with the lime. So easy. So easy, right? I yeah. never thought, because I always think of a gimlet as being one of those more complicated drinks. I know. Like a mojito like or it. something. Yeah, exactly. But it's so easy. So anyway, to make it healthier, first of all, the whole Rose's lime juice, it's very good, but it's got a lot of sugar. So I made my own lime syrup, and it was so fun to do. It was pretty easy. Uh, so what I did, lime syrup calls for a cup of sugar, if you're going to make your own. I know. Whoa. So I used half a cup of sugar and then the Splenda equivalent of half of that, which is 12 packets of Splenda. Oh, There's a whole yeah. conversion chart online, which I'll link to, which is really helpful. That's so helpful. Actually. Yeah. So to make your own lime simple syrup, you just use a half a cup of sugar, 12, cup, or 12 packets of Splenda. I used a tablespoon of lime zest and then the juice of about five limes, which I think is about a half a cup of lime juice. And then you cook it all down in a pot with a half a cup of water and just let it all simmer and it'll smell really good. It looked good too. Right? I know. It looks pretty. And then I just stored it in like an airtight container. I let it cool first and then I stored it. And just strain out the peels and the zest before you make your cocktail. I'm going to put this full recipe online because we're both just, I mean. I know. I can't stop. I'm listening. It's I'm so good. Yeah. So we're using that for the cocktails today. And the other way we made this cocktail skinny was instead of just doing the alcohol and the lime syrup, we also added a little bit of club soda. A little splash. Yeah, you won't even notice it's there. And we both like the bubbles. I like the bubbles yeah. a lot. Carbonation. So, yeah. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to Adrian. <laughs> Woo! Yay! And happy Thirsty Thursday. We hope you get to try our skinny cocktail. We love it. Bye. Bye. So for Adrian's birthday, I wanted to get her something super special. So I actually went down to the subway in New York City and found this amazing subway rat. <gasps> Ew, I mean, rats! Normally it's so big. rats aren't white, but this one's white. So happy birthday, Adrian! Thank you. I love my present. Can I hold it? Yeah. Oh my god! Look at those rat feet. They're so big. Oh, yeah. What a nasty little rat! Yeah, we have huge rats in New York City. So if you come visit, just be on the lookout for little white rats like this. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye.